So just in the hotel lobby at the Roseanne Inn, and about to do a city tour. Here it comes now, city tour of Orlando. Let's go. So our first stop is the boat ride or winter park on the lakes, interconnecting lakes, which would be lovely. I did this before four years ago, so do come with me again. Yeah, it's going to be great. David the pilot is the same person I had here four years ago when I did this trip. How about that? <laughs> My name is David. I will be your guide for the next hour on these three lakes and two canals. Together we'll be exploring the secrets of the Lake Osceola for a couple of very good reasons. Number one, this is where our town began. And number two, this is where the dock is conveniently located. So that really does work out nicely. Okay, here we go. Which way do you want to go? Because it really is up to you. Let's follow the other boats. That's always the best plan. Um, unless you're the lead boat, then it's not good. Okay, so where were we? Uh, the story of Winter Park begins in uh, 1881. By putting it on the barge, or a barge, one piece at a time, the museum put it all back together. It took them two years. In the early days of Winter Park, we had a timber industry. We had lumberjacks. They were looking for the easy way to get those logs to a sawmill that sat on the next lake. So they looked at the streams, which were already here, and they dug deeper and wider to accommodate the logs. We think the original plan might have been simple, popping the logs in at this end and collecting them at the other. That would never work. Look at the current. It goes this way. This is a, a long needle southern pine. The tree wrapped in a barge took them all back in the logging days. Up ahead is Osceola Avenue over our heads, and our heads are cabezas. Dinner. Everybody good? Everyone down, please. This is not a test. <laughs> And please remember this newfound muscle memory. You'll find it very handy for the way back through the canal. I think we have one person, perhaps two, that have been on this trip. Before. Not in the boathouse, sir. Just past it. Look low. Look left. Lower your expectations. This guy's a bit of a stoner. He's been here for years. <laughs> and he'll be there on the way back, too, along with his buddy, the attack frog. This is Lake Virginia, Lago de Virginia. Should be good to go unless somebody snuck in behind me. Thank you. Have a good day out here. Their name was Mizell. David Mizell and his family came down. Now it's a private home. One of the owners thought it could be bigger and he made it happen. He added the wing. Oh. They've already been out sailing this this early semester. And of course it is Sunday, Domingo. A lot of the Bible was written on the pirate scrolls. Put it on Hawaiian pizza. That stuff is controversial enough already. This is a split leaf philodendron on the left, and behind it is a pagoda plant. Banana trees, no big thing. We've got better ones. This is bamboo. It is not native to Florida, but it grows like a weed here. 
The joke there is plant it and then run to the house before it catches you. It grows almost that quickly. Now to the right in the water, these are cypress knees. Cypress trees do not have to grow in or around water, but they they can survive and thrive in it. These two homes are both James Gamble Rogers designs. This one is getting a redesign. The one on the right doesn't need it. They actually shot a, a Nike shoe commercial there years ago. They didn't use any shots of the statue, of course. Some of our drivers refer to her as Southern Exposure. Remember at the very start I told you we would be exploring the secrets of Winter Park and I maintain that this city park on our right would qualify as one. Back to the canal we go, cypress knees on either side. You can't lay out, that would hurt. And they are protected by law. You can't cut them. Way up this hill and across the street. So not this one to the left, that one way up there. It's Osceola Lodge. These folks were uh, rich folks from up north. He you knows that would be kind. On the other hand, if you did not like it for any reason, I am very sorry, but perhaps we could keep that a secret. That wouldn't be so bad. So that was a great uh, little trip on the lakes. Absolutely fantastic here at Winter Park. And thank you, David, who was a pilot and tour guide the same guy I had four years ago, which I had a little chat with him about. Um, so now we're in Park Avenue in Winter Park. We'll have a little walk around, see what's going on. Let's go. Sorry. Just walking along Park Avenue. It's a Sunday today, Sunday the 10th of September. I think I was here on a Sunday before. But all that playlist will be linked below anyway. Um, yeah. So I'm stopping off at 310 Park South Restaurant and I ate here at this same table four years ago. I'm having a chicken Sorrento, looks really nice, press fillet. Yeah, it's nice to be uh, back here again. It's only 11 o'clock. Well that was nice to be back at 310 Park Avenue restaurant, which I was here four years ago. Very nice, lovely chicken fillet with some broccoli, some carrots, some really good stuff. Who said you can't eat unhealthily in Orlando? So um, we're meeting the coach again in a minute. I think we're going to Disney Springs yet, which I have zero interest in whatsoever. When I was there last, I had zero interest in. But hey, you've got to try these things again, just see. I'm not a Disney person, as everyone knows. Um, but yeah, we're going down to, I think it's Winter uh, uh, Disney Springs. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, before we meet up, I might have a little walk around the, uh, the shops of uh, Park Avenue. I'm looking forward to St. Augustine tomorrow, my fourth time there. One of my favorite places. Um, but here's pretty cool. I'm not really into designer wear or anything of that crap, so uh, just have a look around. That's always cool when you uh, pass other Brits. Because this, I've got to admit, this kind of place is well off international driving, all the Disney parks and all that kind of nonsense. So you don't see so many tourists around this area. Um, 
but it's still a very very cool place to come to great eateries that aren't chains which is always good um, yeah Park Avenue Hey, I remember this. Yes, yeah, a little passageway came down to some really cool shops. Olive oils. Ancient olive oil gourmet. Tasting room, yeah. A little, uh, little uh, waterfall. Fountain. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Right, time to go and meet the uh, Grey Line uh, coach again. And I think, as I said, we're going to Disney Springs next, so uh, bear with me. When I was here last, an Amtrak a uh, train came in to the station, pure fluke, and it was really cool. I'll try and uh, pop that footage in here now. Okay, we're at Disney Springs. I'm sorry, I, you, like before, I just cannot get excited about Disney Springs. Um, but hey, we're here, so let's have a look around and see what's happening. Well, I never had, had to go through security before. Didn't last time I was here. Um, okay, let's have a look around this place. See what it's all about. Interesting, away from the tourist spots. I mean, check this out. It's actually got um, fatter as we've gone down south from um, Winter Park. It's got very fat indeed. This is pretty cool. I hope the music playing in the speakers on the PA system isn't copyright. I'll get a YouTube strike. Okay. Okay. I think I'll see if I can get a glass of red from somewhere. Margaritas, that looks cool. Cabernet Chavignon, no Merlot. My friend Matt on Facebook, well, we've known probably about 12 years, and just by pure fluke, we happened to bump into each other at Disney Springs. Which is good design, what's on that? Doctor Who fans, Doctor Who fans. Yeah. Um, and what are the chances? 
I would literally here at DC Springs and I literally just walk up a, a clock mark. A clock from mark. about eight foot away and just <laughs> like what? <laughs> and the and poor bloke's just jumped out of his skin. <laughs> That's amazing. And Matt's already bumped into other people he knows, yeah. who he's never met, actually met physically. No, exactly. And it's so uh, there's the, there's a lot of cosmic coincidence going on. That is it's, 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 yeah. it's quite crazy. The the, the, the heavens have aligned. The, yeah, the, the cosmic, you know you know something weird. The gonna matrix happen. has aligned. <laughs> so I hope you're having a good time. Mate, I'm having a I'm having a, I'm having a yeah. blast. Absolutely. I'm just warm. Yeah, it's very warm. Very warm. Matt did say to me, I didn't think Disney would be your thing. It's not. It's part of this uh, city tour I'm doing. Doing. I did before four years ago, but Disney Springs is part of the agenda, so I'm like, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> really, really, Whereas you know. I, so I, am, I am a mere slave to the system. Yeah. I, I make no apology for that. <laughs> We're turning everybody on with our English accents, I've noticed. <laughs> um, yeah. But Matt, lovely to see you. It's you very, too, very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. We'll get a photo in a minute. Yeah, absolutely. And um, please enjoy the rest of your trip. I will. Right. I Walsall, will. Matt. Walsall, Matt. Can we get a photo? So there you go guys, another end to a video from sunny Florida, 33 degrees today, probably about the same as it is in England. Um, Alright, yes, I'm not a Disney Springs fan, I've been here twice now as part of this city tour. The city tour was fantastic, out onto the lakes, over at Winter Park, probably going back to that same restaurant again. And what are the chances of bumping into Matt Chambers? I knew he was out here because I saw his photos on Facebook, but I never thought at the same time, on the same day, we would bump into each other. But we've never met before, so that was fantastic. So if you have liked the video, be like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And the next video will be from St. Augustine, one of my favourite places, my fourth time there. So yeah, I hope there's something new to see. See you later guys, take care.